Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another episode of In Case You Missed It. Hope you have had a good week and uh, football is back. The Bundesliga was back uh, yesterday and of course there are some games today. Just my quick reaction to it, um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fact that we have some football finally to watch. I think what's going to be intriguing is firstly getting used to seeing football behind closed doors. I was a little bit bemused at some of the angry reaction to it in sort of opposition to football being back and the Bundesliga being back and uh, football without fans is nothing but I think it's I think you just have to get used to it we are in very unique circumstances and this is the way football is going to be played top elite level professional football is going to be played for a while um, hopefully not for ages but it's just something we're going to get used to and I think we will do and I think it will be different when the Premier League eventually returns in any form, when we have an emotional connection to the teams we're watching. You know, I think that it's always different when you're watching a foreign league, when you're sort of distanced to it emotionally, even if maybe you want to see that team win or for whatever reason you're interested in a player in that team, it's a little bit different. So when Chelsea are back on the pitch, trust me, I think we're going to be emotionally connected whether there are fans in there or not. It's just something we're going to have to get used to and I'm happy at least we have some football finally to entertain us. But getting into today's video, it's going to be all about Chelsea transfers and we're going to get some of that from James Ollie in ESPN. Uh, this sort of piece really went in depth on uh, Chelsea are uh, ready to sort of offload some several first team players. Um, it went into some of the biggest targets, Jorginho, Pjanic, all of that stuff um, that I talked about a couple of days ago. So as you can see here, Chelsea are ready to offload several first team players to help fund a summer rebuild, but expected to resist any offers for midfield duo N'Golo Kante and Jorginho, sources have told ESPN. Although the wider picture is uncertain as football adjusts amid the coronavirus pandemic, Chelsea Chelsea want to be active in the transfer market this summer. The Blues retain an interest in Borussia Dortmund winger Jadon Sancho, but believe Manchester United are ahead of them in the race to sign the 20-year-old. And in any case, they are wary of committing around 120 million on one player given the financial pressures COVID-19 has created. Then James Olley goes into some of the big player sales, the likes of Bakioko, Morata, maybe Marcus Alonso, Emerson leaving Batshuayi as well. And then we talk about some of the striker options with apparently Moussa Dembele still being a top target from Leon for Chelsea and RB Leipzig's Timo Werner and Arsenal's Per Emerick Aubameyang are also under consideration. And just a little thing on Pjanic and that Jorginho swap deal that I talked about a couple days ago. Lampard apparently does not have a particular interest in Pjanic. Jorginho's form has improved considerably under Lampard and only the player agitating for a move would prompt Chelsea into considering selling. A lot there to take in. Um, a lot of information we sort of know. Ben Shearwell was also referenced in this article which we talked a lot about. We know he's obviously a top target for Chelsea at left back, which is a big area. And if, you know, as, as James only points out, you know, if Marcus Alonso and Emerson both leave, which would be a surprise personally to me to see both of them go out the door, we're going to need a, a big replacement there. And Ben Shearwell definitely has been one of those players that we've talked about a lot. Firstly, let's talk about Jadon Sancho. Um, I feel that f the financial, I think that Chelsea clearly still want to be active in the transfer market. If you haven't seen my video when I talked about Jadon Sancho and sort of the wider Chelsea transfer picture with Simon Phillips, a really good discussion. I'll leave a link in the cards if you go and watch that video. Um, and we talk about that, but Chelsea could still very much be active in the transfer window. We still could go out there and sign players. But a deal to the extent of Jadon Sancho, I think... I feel like we'll be out of reach for Chelsea this summer. And I feel that it's just one of those deals that I think Chelsea will look elsewhere to maybe sign players that are smarter, a little bit cheaper. And we have talked about other options there as well. In terms of uh, Moussa Dembele, uh, he got linked uh, months back. Uh, sort of went quiet recently, but his name has popped up once again. I think would be a top target in terms of striker as the same with uh, Werner. I feel Werner's a little bit more unrealistic because everything we've heard about Werner is edging towards Liverpool. If he doesn't go to Liverpool, if he doesn't get that move this summer, he'll probably stay at Leipzig another year. That could change, but I think Werner's probably a little bit more unrealistic as good of a player as he is and as good of a signing he would be for Chelsea. Um, I was talking about Tammy Abraham yesterday and how all of this is going to shape up. Then, of course, you've got Drez Mertens who can come back into this as well. Nizar Kinsella was reporting about this this week as well, even though into trying to sign Drez Mertens, Chelsea still pursuing that deal. I've said personally that I think that's a brilliant deal. I think in the current troubled times, I think that's 
just one of those deals that I think you have to try and make happen. I think you've got to go and try and get him. I think it, it would be a massive deal for Chelsea and we'd sort out an area and then we could focus on other areas like left back, maybe centre back as well. And, you know, Dembele, I think is a young striker. I think he's a striker that Chelsea would want. I think in a perfect scenario, Dembele could be that player. Leon could be forced to sell in the current situation and that could aid Chelsea. Um, Chelsea apparently have been into Dembele for a number of months now and I wouldn't be surprised if there's still active interest within there. But I do feel only one striker will be signed this summer I think Giroud's extension is going to be confirmed soon so I think only one striker is going to come in so it's either going to be someone like Mertens an older player a free agent type deal or it will be someone a little bit younger like Dembele and we're going to have to wait and see who Chelsea prioritised there and in terms of Pjanic just finishing off on that um, it does not surprise me you know my opinions about the deal was I didn't think it was a good deal to begin with I didn't think it made a lot of sense losing for me other than Kovacic, I think you're talking about important midfielders in Chelsea system. I think losing Jorginho would be a massive uh, blow to Chelsea and to not get in a player who, for me, really improves that area and really replaces what Jorginho does and, and elevates that area doesn't make a lot of sense for me. I think Billy Gilmore, the development of Billy Gilmore, I think will be really aided next season with a player like Jorginho to work off of and learn off of. I think there's been so much talked about with fans about them competing with each other, which of course they will. Learning off of each other as well, I think is important. And I think Billy Gilmore can learn a lot off Jorginho in that role if we want Billy Gilmore to be the future of that role, which I think he will be. So Jorginho not leaving, I think is good. Kante not leaving is brilliant. Um, hopefully this stuff you know comes to fruition and we can keep these players contract extension contract deals for Tammy Abraham as well. All these things hopefully will come into play soon, especially if the Premier League is about to return, um, if the Bundesliga goes well. But as I've constantly stressed, and as people, you know, with more sources than me uh, who are actually in the know say, you have to understand that it is going to be a very different transfer market. It just is. And I think fans need to lower their expectations in terms of who's going to come in. That doesn't mean to say that Chelsea won't sign big players or sign players that are going to improve the squad. I think Chelsea will try their best to do that. But in terms of the massive, you know, massive transfer window that I think was originally touted. I don't think it will happen to the extent it once could have a couple months ago. But those are my opinions on the transfer window, some of Chelsea's transfer targets. Please let me know your opinions on everything I discussed in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea and I'll see you again.